Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. So today we are going to proceed with the next chapter on our syllabus, chapter 5 on topic vectors. So in this chapter, there are four subtopics that we are going to learn. The first subtopic is 5.1 vectors in three dimensions, 5.2 scalar product, 5.3 vector product, and 5.4 the application of vectors in geometry. For today's lesson, let us proceed with the first subtopic of chapter 5, which is 5.1 vectors in three dimension. Now, let us look at the student learning time, SLT, or the learning objective for this subtopic 5.1. The first one is for you to be able to state the types of vectors on different notations of vectors, and B, to find the magnitude of a vector and unit vector, and the last one to perform addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication of vectors. Now, let us go through the introduction to vectors. First, let us check on few definitions. Alright, the first one, a scalar, is a quantity that has only magnitude. For example, we have mass, temperature, and also volume. On the other hand, a vector is a quantity that has both the magnitude and also the direction. So, the important word here is the direction. So, for example, of a vector, we have a velocity, force, weight, and also momentum. Now, let us look at the vector's representation. So, geometrically, vectors can be represented by a directed line segment. And if you can see over here, for this line segment, we can say that it is from point A, the initial point, to point B, the terminal point. Point A is also can be called as the tail and point B we can call that as the head of our vector. So we have already seen that a vector can be represented in an arrow from point A to point B. So we can also represent vector as AB with a small arrow on top or U with a curly line underneath. Okay, so we can also see that a magnitude for a vector, which is also called as the norm, can be denoted as the modulus of AB or the modulus of U. That is the length of the line AB. And then, if we talk about the direction of the vector, we have to look at the arrowhead on the line of AB. So that will be the direction of our vector. Now let's look at the different types of vectors that we have. The first one, we have the zero vector or also called as the null vector. So a vector which has zero magnitude represented by O. We also have the unit vector. So a vector which has a magnitude of 1 is denoted as A where A is equals to the vector A divided by the magnitude of vector A. Next, we also have the position vector. So any vector that starts from the origin. If O is the origin, then vector OA is known as the position vector of a point A relative to point O. We also have a free vector. Free vector is a vector which do not has a fixed position. The next type of vector that we have is the equal vectors. So two vectors, vectors A and B, are equal if both have the same magnitude and also the same direction. Then we call that as an equal vector. For example, now if you look at the vector P and Q, it has the same direction and also the same magnitude. So we can say that vector P is equal to vector Q. However, Vector P is not equal to vector R and also vector S because we have the different direction of vectors. Next one, we have the negative vectors. So negative of vector A, negative A has the same magnitude as the vector A but oppositely directed. So the, the direction is opposite of vector 
A. If we talk about the magnitude, so the magnitude of vector A is equal to the magnitude of vector negative A. So now let's look at the few operation on vectors. The first one is the addition of vectors. So if we have vector B and vector A, now if we want to try to find the vector A plus vector B, what we're going to do is we will take the head of vector A and connect that to the tail of vector B. And if we connect these two lines together, we can also get this triangle law. And by using that, we can solve the vector addition of A and B. Now the first one is if we take the head of vector A connected to the tail of vector B, that will be vector A plus B. And the next one, if we take the vector B plus vector A, meaning that we will connect the head of vector B to the tail of vector A. So it is the other way around. And by that, we can say that we are now using the parallelogram law and we can notice that the vector addition of A plus B is equal to the addition of vector B plus vector A. The next operation is the scalar multiplication of vectors. So if vector A is not equal to 0, the multiplication of a vector by a scalar K is denoted by K times vector A. So if we can see vector A in red and we have 2 times vector A that is in black one, okay, black arrow. And then we can also see that if we have negative 2 times A, meaning that the direction of the vector is on the opposite side. And the next one we also have when we multiply vector A with half, meaning that we are taking half of the uh, magnitude of the vector A. So we, ha we have half of vector A. So what we can say over here is the vector A is parallel to vector 2A and it is also parallel to vector negative 2A and also parallel to half times vector A. On the other hand, if we look about the magnitude of these vectors, so the magnitude of vector 2A is equal to, we multiply 2 with the magnitude of vector A and if we look at the magnitude of vector negative 2A, that is equal to multiplying the vector, the magnitude of negative 2 with magnitude of vector A. And the last one, if we take a look at the magnitude of 1 over 2 times vector A, that is also equal to taking the modulus of 1 over 2 times the vector A. So now let's look at some properties of vectors on the scalar multiplication. So if the scalar k is greater than 0, first we can see that k a is parallel to vector a. The second one on the magnitude, so magnitude k a is equal to k times by the magnitude of a. And the third one, k a has the same direction of a. Next one, if we have the scalar k is less than 0, so we will have k a is also parallel to vector a. Magnitude of k a is equal to k times magnitude of a. And the most important part is this third one, where k a has the opposite direction of a. 